everyone and welcome back to my wine diary. On this channel I do wine reviews and tastings, fun and educational videos about wine, so if you're into wine just as much as I am, please consider subscribing. The topic of today's video is particularly interesting to me because I personally really like both Primitivo and Zinfandel. Matter of fact, there is one Primitivo here that I always get when I go to Trader Joe's because of how affordable and good tasting it is. I will zoom on this bottle for you right now just for you to see what label I'm referring to, but this particular Primitivo hands down always ends up in my cart when I go to Trader Joe's. It is uh, imported here from Puglia area, which is in Italy. It's actually the heel of Italy, southern and central, and this is the area of Italy that is famous for production of Primitivos. So if you still have not given this one a try, it probably costs less than six or seven dollars. I think it costs $5.99 to be exact. And it tastes great. I really like it, so give this one a go. Genetically, these two grapes are extremely similar. It took some DNA fingerprinting to figure it out, but both Primitivo and Zinfandel are actually clone of a Croatian grape which name I cannot pronounce for the love of God, so I will go ahead and insert it right here for you to figure out, but that's the grape that they cloned both Primitivo and Zinfandel from. Now, a grape clone is actually not as scary as it sounds. What it is is simply a genetic subtype of a grape varietal that happens naturally or sometimes is encouraged by a grower. Now, grapes are very adaptable, so cloning grapes has become really, really easy nowadays. Even though Primitivo and Zinfandel Zinfandel have been synonyms for many years, the US labeling laws do not allow those two terms to be used interchangeably. So that's why we still have both Primitivo and Zinfandel on our labels in the United States, although they're technically two clones from the same grape. Now, the EU or European Union labeling laws are much more flexible, so wineries in Europe are allowed to call Zinfandel Primitivo and vice versa, but just not US wineries yet. Now, in 2002, there was a proposed act uh, to allow that to happen, but it's just have not been acted on just as yet. Now let's talk about both of those wines in detail, but separately. So Primitivo is certainly not primitive. Matter of fact, it is a modern red wine. The name actually comes just from its status of being an early ripening grape. That's it. And while the grape originated in Croatia, its high yields and love for the warm and temperate climate of the Dalmatia coast undoubtedly made it a perfect grape to grow in Italy, specifically in the southern and central part of Italy, being that heel of the boot, being Puglia. From the end of the 18th century until the early 1990s, Primitivo was one of a kind, very unique grape that was indigenous to central and southern Puglia. Now what started to happen in the latter part of the 20th century is A, our international wine market began to come together, and B, all of the knowledge around viticulture started to spread through uh, the world of wine. Now, what happened then is our wine lovers started noticing that Primitivo tasted an awful lot like Zinfandel, which was indeed an indigenous grape, one of a kind grape back in California. The question remains, how is Zinfandel related to Primitivo? Well, after making a name for itself in Italy, the grape then journeyed to the United States through the Imperial Nursery in Vienna, Austria, and that's how it gained its name, Zinfandel. The vines were originally planted on the east coast of the United States and then made their home in California after the gold rush. Zinfandel itself is lighter in color than a Cabernet Sauvignon or a Merlot, for instance. However, although it is a lighter body red wine like Pinot Noir, Zinfandel's moderate tannins and higher acidity actually make it taste bold. A lot of times Zinfandels also have higher levels of acidity to them, 14 to 17% ABV, and because of that they get some nice oily texture to them, which make it taste like a bigger, bolder wine. And of course I couldn't let you go without giving you some aromas and tasting notes from one of these wines at least, so I'm choosing to try out this Primitivo on the screen, although I've tried it multiple times, but let's go ahead and dissect it. Usually the first thing that I do is show you the color of wine by swirling it in front of the camera. Before I do that, let me just mention that this particular one 
is 14% alcohol by volume, just for you to know what is the alcohol content in this one. So let's go ahead and swirl it. It's a beautiful ruby color. I don't see any purple hues in this one. It's just very rich and uh, beautiful on the ruby tone. So let's give it a nose. I smell a lot of uh, dark red fruits on this one. So black currant, black cherry, mm, blackberry. So anything that's darker in red color, I'm definitely smelling here. Now see if I can catch any secondary aromas to this. I would say that it's definitely pretty herbaceous here. So I feel I feel like this one in particular has a lot of dried herbs and maybe licorice to it when I smell it. Now let's go ahead and taste it. Mm. This is such a delicious wine. Definitely go ahead and try it. It's from Trader Joe's. But on the palate here, I certainly taste the same darker red fruits and black fruits like black currant, blackberry, uh, black cherry, but What's added here, and I let my wine uh, breathe just a little bit, I'm definitely having some opened up tastes of dry fruit, so like apricots and figs. Um, what else? It's, it's such a delicious wine. On secondary taste here, I would definitely add some smoke some black pepper, so similar to, say, a Petite Syrah, for instance. It's very black peppery and it's got a little bit of smoke to it. So overall, a really, really gorgeous wine, so please give it a go. Tell me in the comments down below if you've ever tried Zinfandel or Primitivo, or both. Do you find any similarities to them? Which one do you like better? And what's your favorite type if you have one? So please let me know. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos coming out every single week. And until next time, cheers everyone.